Welcome to the 2020 Mr. Installation Guide. Today I'm going to show you how to install Mr. using Windows 10. And I have another video showing you how to do it under Mac OS X. First thing we need to do is go to the setup guide. So click right there. You'll note that the uh, setup guide says that you can use older versions of Windows to set this up. That's a complete lie. I've not been able to do that with Windows 7. Scroll down and we'll begin with the preparations to set up the SD card. Find the latest release, which will be at the bottom and check to see how long it's been since it was last released. You see here it says last month. Click on the download button and save the file. Once we've downloaded the file, we need to bring up File Explorer. Now you see the file is a RAR file, uh, which we can unzip or uncompress using the 7-zip file manager. Now we'll just uncompress or extract the files to wherever we downloaded it to and go back to File Explorer. You'll end up with the files directory and the Mr. SD card utility. Run that as administrator. Currently there are no SD cards uh, plugged into the system so Nothing is highlighted, so plug in your SD card at this time. So a 32 gig SD card has been detected. Uh, I always like to go into uh, the computer manager and make sure that what I think I'm seeing is actually the SD card that I want. Double checked. Disk 4 is the 32 gig card. Now that we've made absolutely sure that is our SD card, we're going to wipe it. I'm going to click yes here to continue. That was successful and now we're going to do a full install. Make sure it says uh, boot and files if you have an option at the top and say yes. While the SD card is being set up, you will get multiple uh, messages asking you to format the disk. Do not format the disk. Just close the windows as they pop up. Okay, let's go back to our setup guide again. Now that we've created the SD card image, uh, the next step is to update the Mr. files. Scroll down until you get to the update Mr. file section. Uh, you'll see a link, right click on it and open it as a new tab so you can keep the setup instructions around. Now you want to find the latest Mr. repository. This was updated eight days ago. Click on it and download it. Once the file is downloaded, open up your downloads directory and you need to rename this file without the date code. Copy this file to the root of your SD card. Your SD card will be identified by Mr. Data as its label. Let's go back to our browser 
and to our setup files. Now our next step is to scroll down to step four where we will update the menu core. It's basically exactly the same way as we updated the Mr. Core. Find the latest version and then download it. Rename the file to remove the date code and then copy it to the SD card. At this point, we can safely eject the SD card and put it into the Mr. system. Now it's time to put in your SD card. Don't put it up here. No, no, no. Put it in the lower one and have it so that the, uh, the face is pointing to the bottom of the 3D case. Now the next thing we need to plug in is our HDMI cable. Can't do much without a keyboard or without joysticks, so I had this uh, OTG cable that I'm plugging in. I have a wireless keyboard that I use for this and a wired joystick. And finally, we need to plug in our Ethernet cable. Okay, let's plug in the power and see what happens. So Mr. is up and running. Next step is we want to get download all the cores. So if you press F12 on your keyboard, go to scripts and say yes and click on or uh, press enter on update and this will update all the cores and since we haven't downloaded any cores it'll download the cores as well We've successfully updated all the cores on Mr. But we don't have any ROMs yet, and that's an exercise that's up to you to do. So what can we do to make sure Mr. is actually running? Well, in the utility folder, there's a mem test routine. So why don't we run that and make sure that our system is running properly? So the first thing we need to do is scroll down to the utility folder and press enter. Scroll down to mem tests and press enter. And then when this screen comes up, press A. It will automatically shift down until there are no errors when checking the memory. And the red area is the number of errors we received and the green area is the number of successful tests that we've had of our memory.